Hey everyone, it's Jennifer Morgano from Card and Mom by Jen Morgano, and I am bringing you this fun little pop-up project today. Folds flat for the envelope, but then pops up into a little box. Perfect for a birthday, which is what we stamped on the back. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the Beautiful Balloons uh, stamp set and dies. So there's the stamp set. This is new in the 2023 annual catalog, and they coordinate with these um, beautiful balloon stamp set. Um, I made a photocopy of uh, the dies on the inside. Uh, so lots of balloons. You have this three balloon uh, cutout tags, some stars, some tassels. They all coordinate with these uh, great stamps. Okay, so do a lot of the prep work for you because it's a little bit. Um, labor intensive <laughs> of a card, uh, but you're gonna have uh, your card base is gonna be berry burst here. And this measures nine inches long by five and a half inches tall. And then you're gonna do some scoring on this. So you're gonna score um, on the short side at two and three quarters. It's halfway, right? Okay, on this long nine inch side, you're gonna score at two and an eighth four and a quarter, six and three eighths, and eight and a half. Okay, and then you're gonna need a strip of berry burst that measures one inches wide by seven and a quarter inches long. And you're gonna do some scoring on that as well. I don't know if you can see that. You're gonna score at one inch, three and an eighth inches, four and one eighth inches, and then six and a quarter. So that's gonna be for the card base itself. Uh, to decorate it, you're going to need four panels of lemon lime. <laughs> Where is it? So four of those, and those measures two and a half inches wide, um, sorry, two and a half inches long by one and seven eighth inches wide. Okay. And then we're gonna have some coordinating DSP, which um, comes with this suite. This is called the Bright and Beautiful DSP. Lots of fun, kind of washy, colorful, size with pattern sides. Um, these panels, you're gonna need four of them as well, and those are gonna measure one and three quarters, y by two and three eighths. Okay. And then what I did for the card was I cut out um, three vellum pieces. So my vellum, I had like some two and a half or three inch squares. I used that triple balloon die and cut three pieces out of those. And then I decorated it. <laughs> so this first card you can see here, when I was designing it, I just did the plain vellum. And I thought that kind of looked boring. I wanted to kind of tie in all those colors. So I took an inker, um, an acrylic block, a big one, and I put a drop of Berry Burst ink refill, Balming Blue, and Lemon Lime Twist. And I added a little bit of alcohol to that, some spritzes of alcohol. And then I, I took a blender, um, not a blender pen, an aqua painter, a watercolor painter, and I kind of dipped it in there and flicked the different colors and then let them dry. And that's how I got all these little specklies in uh, coordinating colors on the background. I just thought that the white vellum was kind of bleh. So I cut those out. I also cut out um, some balloons from the DSP in that pack um, to decorate the box. The star, this is in um, Lemon Lolly. I cut a little tassel image out of basic black. And then a few little window sheets. These are like an inch by two and a half, three inches, uh, so that we can affix our balloons to them. Okay, so let's get started with the most important part, and that's building our box. Honestly, building the box, once you're done with that, you can decorate it any, any way you want. So the first thing we're gonna do, so we're gonna need the bottom part of this to adhere to make the box. So if you didn't see that, I took it off camera. Um, so we're gonna keep the bottom piece, but we're gonna get rid of this top rectangle. So set that. Cut down. Now, whenever I'm putting boxes together, I like to angle my tabs. You've probably seen other demonstrators do that too. So you're just gonna cut up on an angle and up from the bottom on an angle. Okay. 
I'm gonna do that. And then we're going to leave these bottom ones, <coughs> excuse me, attached, right? Because that's gonna be our box, but we're going to cut these just down to that first score line. I like to cut before I burnish only because I find when I burnish the score lines get kind of I don't know what the word I'm looking for smooshy <laughs> and then when you cut it it doesn't look as clean if that makes sense okay so we have our solid bottom part here with the tab and then we have these now let's go ahead and um, burnish I'm gonna just fold in and in, in, and in. Okay, so you can see this is how we're going to put our box together. Now you're going to want one panel to stay straight up and then the rest of the panels to come down. Now we can put our writing panel here. That'll help keep it a little bit more stiff. Let's stamp that quick. This is a piece of basic white that is one and seven eighths inch wide by five and a quarter inches long. And what I did was I used the happy birthday sentiment and then Azure afternoon blue. I'm just gonna stamp that right in the middle. And then I took Berry Burst with the confetti stamped image I just kind of stamped around just for some added added something <laughs> let's glue that down now on that back panel so if you want to lay it so that your everything's holding in right your tab is to the right ah now i've got tombow on my nail Hear that like that. Oh, I've got a fingerprint. That looks like a job for an embellishment. <laughs> We're not going to glue the box together just yet. What I want to do is take this piece in, is on the inside. That helps us, I don't know if you can see that, that helps us adhere our pieces for the pop-up part. So you're going to take it and just fold in, 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 and in. And then you're going to want to glue these two pieces together like that to form a little rectangle. Okay. Perfect. You can lay it flat. some glue here and what you want to do is find where it would be in the center of this by the flap by this little side flap and you're going to want to keep it underneath that score line All right because those are going to flap down so you don't want see that there okay and you don't have to go like this and try and get it even what you can simply do is lay it down flat and because of the magic of boxes, <laughs> just fold this over like that. And voila. Well, good, right? And then to make it even easier to finally adhere that box together, you can fold it down here so that the flap is in the middle. And then just fold it over like that. You got your box. <laughs> oh, we didn't do. Didn't furnish these down. Got sidetracked. I was doing the, the writing element. But have no fear. Once it's glued together, you can just do that. So then we're going to want to decorate this top standing up panel and these guys with our lemon lime DSP panels. Okay. Just going to glue these on quick.
you know, I've gotten so used to using liquid glue. I was using the Stamp and Seal Plus the other day and I kind of put something on a little crooked, but guess what? That's where it stayed because Tombow gives you wiggle. The glue gives you the wiggle. You can move it around a little bit, but you cannot with the other. And then we'll just glue those to the cards. And then the rest is up to you to design and, and um, decorate. So again, what I did, I had these little window sheets and I kind of uh, glued, I kind of, I did. I glued the vellum balloons to that. Then I chose a balloon here and there for each one. I'll put the big one on there and the next one I would do I would put that medium one or to the side like that. And then simply all you have to do is put a little bit of tear and tape on whatever piece you want to go in there and make sure it sticks on to there. You know, be careful if you have anything that hangs too low. You don't want to make sure, make sure there's no adhesive on the bottom because when this card gets flat to be mailed, guess what? It's staying flat because that adhesive will uh, stick it together. So you want to make sure that anything you do doesn't go past those little lines here. Um, if you want, you can make this mechanism in here longer to encompass the hole in so you don't have to worry about that. That's certainly one way to do it. All right, but again, you can see decorating it is up to you. Sky's the limit or the top of the box is the limit. You want to make sure that you don't go too far um, past the edges of the box because it does fold flat to fit into a regular Stampin' Up! envelope. Um, you might have to make your own envelope if it does go a little bit further. Hey, okay, thank you for joining me. I will put all the measurements in uh, blog posts below so that I know there was a lot going on. <laughs> um, so you can follow that there. I will also have links to any of the products I used. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you did enjoy this cute little pop-up box birthday explosion for someone, right? Uh, please subscribe if you want to get all of my videos. You know, you get alerts when I put up a new video. So you can subscribe there or subscribe to my blog and you'll get an email every time I publish a new project. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I hope you get to do something crafty. <laughs> Bye.